this news was like today. <laughs> oh, really? Today. Oh, hot topic, hot topic. It's pretty, uh, yeah, HT. I would say it's HT just because. Yeah. Nah, people are gonna find out about this next year from yeah. us. Has anybody here ever heard of a streamer by the name of Amaranth? Yes. Mm -mm. You know Amaranth, right? Uh, hot tub streams. No way. Yeah. And, and many things of that nature. Is it male or female? A female. Is it the redhead girl? Yes, yeah. Uh, she's yeah. a huge uh, streamer on Twitch, and yeah. just in general, she's uh, like really big on adult content. Just really, uh, really major creator. Yeah. She does sexy adult hot tub content? stuff? Yeah. yeah. She's got a major Massive personality. Girl. They're like, What's give me five subs, I'll write your name on my boob, and then it's like 25 bucks, and then like 90 people do it through her stream. And Whoa, so that's a lot of She makes stuff. millions, yeah. yeah. And she, for a long time, there's really been not a whole lot of information about her. Like, she's not very public about a ton of her private life. And then recently, out of nowhere, she's live streaming and like crying and on the phone with her uh, boyfriend or husband. Oh, husband. And he's just like yelling at her. And, and it was on stream? stream. Yeah, through this stream, she reveals that he has been forcing her to do all this <gasps> and no controls way. her bank accounts and allegedly also threatened to kill her dogs if she didn't stream. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, and now it's this like big thing. Holy shit. Yeah, it's like taking over this whole that like, she's massively popular, so it's like a big, big thing. You know? Yeah. Well, she has the fan base now. She could fucking dip out. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> and Cause, leave whatever she Sometimes if I watch her, cause I, I, you would get recommended stuff on Twitch and I was like, I'm gonna click this hot tub stream and then I look at it, I'm like, she doesn't really seem happy about it, but she's just kind of there. <laughs> And I was like, eh, I'm, I'm over it. How so, long does she yeah. stream for usually? Oh, she'll do 24 hours. Like she'll do it just like, in the hot yeah. tub? So maybe not always in the hot tub, but yeah, she'll like do 24 post, straight hours, yeah. yeah. So the, the context for hot tub stream, it was the workaround for girls to do lewd content on Twitch yeah. without getting banned. Because you were only allowed to show yourself in a bikini if you were in the water. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they would get these mini hot tubs, put them in their rooms yeah. and sit in them. And that way it's a loophole to still be able to uh, have loot yeah. content. They have like little blow up pools and shit yeah. too. And yeah. <laughs> but um, dude, because I, I watch Twitch all the time because my friends stream and good streamers always are interactive. They're really like, their personality really shines. But for her, it's like, you just watch her. She's literally just like, I'm in the tub. Okay, hey, thanks for the fucking sub, you know, and it's it's so very how she like so popular. If I don't she's know. not like interactive. Well, she's been around pre like Twitch days. Like she was oh. she was just a content creator. Like she was on socials. She was just like a hot girl that people kind of found, and her following was already up. And then she started streaming, and then it went crazy. And then she started going on OF, and it went crazy. And so she's just one of those people that is kind of like a top creator in that world. So again, like her saying this and making these allegations and the crazy thing is I don't know the legality of it because the dude on the phone does not know he's being, being recorded. recorded. And I know that in California, you can't be doing that. But was she like, stream? was she like accidentally unmuted or was, did she stream it? No, she purpose? meant to do it. She uh, was trying to get him to say things so that the camera will catch him. Well, well is there a legality issue if she's like threatened and under duress though? You yeah. know what I mean? Well, I think that's what makes it go into a, into a more complicated zone. Yeah, Cause that's like when you're being kidnapped and then so you got your phone in your pocket, you know, like so that yeah. voices or whatever, you know what I mean? Like if she's like at a point where the guy's like, you have to do this or I'm gonna kill your dog. That is pretty, so yeah, you kind of have to, right? Yeah. But then that's the thing is she was trying to get him to repeat that verbatim on the phone and he wouldn't do it. Like he was like. You think he was watching? You think he was watching the stream? <laughs> I I mean, yeah, why he could have easily been watching the stream? It doesn't sound like he was. They were. He was really like yelling and uh, and yeah, and and uh, the messages, she was like showing some texts, and uh, even in the text he was threatening to to blow 500k of her money by donating it to a bird sanctuary, <laughs> whatever that means. Oh, now it's getting really complicated. Yeah. Now we're like. Donate the money. <laughs> <laughs> the birds need it too. <laughs> the birds should get some money. Yeah, he, uh, he <laughs> don't. Like, you don't do the stream. The birds win too. Like everybody's winning in this like, ecosystem if somebody just listens. Get away from him. Oh man, that must be. Cool. He made other abusive threats, like like threatening to dump her luggage off the balcony. He threatened to delete her social media. He uh, had coerced her to broadcast content, telling her to commit to the grind because it's a good financial opportunity. 
Um, but he's like, commit to the grind, but I'm threatening you by deleting your social media accounts and ending the grind. <laughs> that makes no sense. Crazy fucking... Like, well, yeah, he definitely he sounds crazy. crazy. In, in the video, he sounds nuts. No, I mean, like, he has the For best sure. threats. The, by far. The best threats? The best threats. I'm gonna fucking send your money to the bird sanctuary. <laughs> I'm gonna throw your clothes off a balcony. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just pick up. Yeah. You want out of social media? Fine, I'll delete your social media accounts. So yeah, what? she claimed. <laughs> she said that her husband always insisted that he uh, remain a secret so that she can maximize profits yeah. from the streaming. I don't know what he looks like. And mm. also, uh, but she's Russian. And also, she's she's described her life as because she's insanely rich. But yeah. she's described it as living in a fancy prison. Oof. Oh, that sucks. You Would you rather around. live in a fancy prison <laughs> or deadbeat reality? <laughs> deadbeat reality every time, baby. Every time. Every time. Because we men, right, Can? <laughs> you say you alright, Ted yeah, I'm, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm a man, dude. It didn't hurt. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so I wonder if she's going to continue to stream after all this. Like, but, like. Yeah, on her she, own. She probably like traumatized, like probably wants nothing to do with it. Yeah. Probably wants to live a private life. Deadbeat, but real. Call She's deadbeat. one of the no, the, the, that, uh, I don't know if you remember, she was selling, I mean other people have done this, but she was selling fart jars yeah. for a thousand no, her. Oh, Wait, no, that's, 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 that's what I, I know who this is. Oh, <laughs> Belle Delphine did the same thing, but then she did it too, and then she was selling oh, her, that? she was selling her bath water. Too. So yeah. this is why girls were selling bath water, mm -hmm. is because they would stream in these, these like workarounds. Well, they were doing it prior to the workarounds. Yeah. It would just be a thing to sell, because oh, you just is, would say, mm, my bath water. Man, we oh, live like, in I a like... crazy world, dude. Yeah. Dude, I'd sell my bath water in a heartbeat. No one would I buy could. it. Though. I know, but if there was a market for it, I would, you know? So why don't you just sell your jujitsu sweat? Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, man. But yeah, she's um, $1,000 for a fart jar. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, she was selling out. She couldn't fart fast enough to fill these jars. <laughs> she didn't have enough supplies. This just was booming. It's like, yeah. I'm dry. <laughs> I don't even want to look up. Let's look up a network. Do you think when they yeah. open it up, it really does smell like a fart, though? Probably. Oh, if they, yeah, they, they airtight it. Or your yeah. money back. For how long? Oh. Do you think they have the sensation? I don't know. Like, imagine if it's like a six day shipping. Here is. Um, <laughs> shit, that's right. Like, that shit probably. At that point, I wouldn't even fart anymore because I can't fart. I should probably just take a dump. Leave there and continue to collect fumes into like new jars, you know what I mean? Whoa. Dude, that's why you're the fucking oh, man. Shit. Right? Yeah. I mean, supply and demand, right? Man, right? Amazing. There's so many different um, net worth estimates for her, so I'm just gonna read the what. What are some ballpark figs? Makes per month, and it's about a million and a half. Ooh, Does it say how many uh, subscribers she has on Twitch? Yeah, we can look that up. Dude, then, a million what a you month. Do, I know Twitch just tw changed it. That Twitch is kind of going down the shitter right now. So like the big content content creators used to get 70% of all their subs That's and then 30% and then like small creators cuz I used to stream too right it's 50/50 now everybody's 50/50 so like usually what we used to do is like just times whatever their number was by five because that's like the minimum you can sub. It's like like Nick Merckx, that fool makes you know freaking like maybe like four hundred five hundred thousand dollars a month. She has um, thirteen thousand five hundred twenty eight active subscribers. So yeah, and you just oh, times that by five. 13. So he's number fifty seven in the ranking. Yeah, times it by five and divided by half. Yeah, and that's like how much. Money, but that is even because sometimes people do like tier three subs, which are like twenty five bucks a month, mm, yeah, and stuff. So if you just do the bare minimum five bucks, and her OF in terms yeah. of that is probably killing Twitch. Dude, yeah. a million and a half a month. That's crazy. That's that's just OF. Like yeah. her whole thing. Yeah. So this is her. If you've never seen her, that's what she looks like. Just for context. Hot tub stream. Yeah. And that's what a hot tub stream essentially pretty much looks like, yeah. I thought you were gonna bring up that other porn star, Adrian Cheshnik or whatever, oh, that went to Twitch, that. TwitchCon in San Diego this past weekend or last week. Oh, yeah. It jumps into a fucking foam pit doing a toe touch and then breaks two of her vertebrae. Yeah. yeah. Oh. A lot of people. What was in the foam pit though? Nothing. Like, it was just a. Floor. It wasn't deep enough. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, really? what they were saying. It was just the ground. Yeah. It wasn't deep enough. <laughs> it was like <laughs> enough pieces of foam to maybe cover the ground, but it wasn't really covering the ground. <laughs> Another like streamer dislocated her knee and Ooh. shit. Oh. Like, that's probably gonna be on Lenovo, huh? Or on Twitch? Do you think? Uh, whoever fucking set up that, that stupid ass. Phone. The booth is Lenovo, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Make it deeper. No, Lenovo used to be IBM. That what? makes sense. 
but then Lenovo bought them out. I know this because I sold computers for a little bit. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Any other computer fun facts? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us something about CompuServe. Dell sucks. <laughs> uh, Dell sucks. Dell was affordable yeah, back then, though. You know? <laughs> Did you know IBM? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good moment. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this kind of brings to light a lot of situations that might be happening within the world of streaming because it kind of works like fucking pimps. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I know that OF, I've met some guys that uh, that manage accounts for women. They'll have like 10 women under them and they'll just constantly shoot content for them and they'll be like, wear this this week and then we'll do that. And all they do is show up, they get their pictures taken, he takes a cut of everything their OF makes. And there's a ton of these everywhere. So uh, maybe they'll get into situations where they're gonna have to kind of investigate these a little harder to make sure before you start that this is something that you really are doing on your own. Yeah. Independent decision, no guy in the back pulling strings or nothing. Man, that's really hard. That's scary, dude. Yeah. It makes yeah. Twitch seem like such a dark place because it's supposed to be like for like a positive gaming community. Everyone's here to hang out, but then there's so much like dark stuff behind it. Well, how long have a lot of uh, gamers been trying to lobby against like girls selling themselves on Twitch because it ruined the platform for yeah. them? You know? Yeah. I remember too when they made the whole hot tub streamer thing. This is, it was recent, like within the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. feel like that's ruining Twitch? I mean, not really. Just don't click on that section. Right, right. Yeah. I think this would be ruining yeah. a lot of things bigger than ruining Twitch. Because yeah. if, if Twitch is giving the platform f where people you know, are going to make this much money to the point of a desperate dude pushing his girl to do yeah, it, exactly. there needs to be something in place that can prove it that's not happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really complex though. It's like not really on the platform too much, right? Like, that's like... Um, Facebook getting in trouble for certain things, but like that that's such a slippery slope of a conversation both from a legal standpoint to a free speech place, you know what I mean, to you know like Twitch is just the platform, right? They're yeah. not the ones yeah. quote unquote like forcing anybody yeah. to like sign up for this stuff or whatever, so yeah. it's just kind of sketch. Hope she gets out of that situation. Well, the, the thing that I I feel like makes a difference is that in, in OF whatever, that's the wild west, do whatever you want to do. Twitch has a lot of fucking kids. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Kids yeah. go there. So like, try a little harder. Maybe like do a wellness check. No, yeah. that's true. All it takes is one person that's to give you a call and go, hey, this is you doing this, right? Yeah. Dude, that's true, because there, there's that loophole. It's like, these kids are watching hot tub streams. Like, that makes no sense. Here. Of course they're going to yeah. watch hot tub streams. I mean, kids, kids are going to do what kids do, yeah, but like. Yeah. Did it say anything like what anything that's happened? After or no development so far. So by the time this is out, yeah. is she still streaming right now, or is she have has she been like? Of course she's still streaming. She wants her dog to stay alive, man. <laughs> this news was like today. So oh really? Today. Oh hot topic, hot topic. It's pretty uh yeah, I would say it's a HT just because. Yeah. Now nah, people are gonna find out about this next year from yeah. us. Because if something really bad happens, then yeah, well this we can't even use this video. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, hoping the best for her. Great creator. That's a sucky thing for that to. Buy more of a fart. Home for the bird sanctuary right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs>